Welcome back to Waste Some Time with Jason Green. I am Jason Green. It's Thursday, and we're keeping the daily uh, streak going, the Monday through Friday uh, daily streak. Today is Thursday. This will be the second Thursday in a row uh, that we've been live. You know, I sometimes think I should uh, use clickbait titles in these videos. You know, maybe uh, I should do what the other YouTubers do and say, contemplating the future. Yeah, uh, what I'm going to do with my channel. What's next? A lot of people put these dreamy kind of things up, uh, and then they really don't ever do anything. And the ones who say, I'm planning to retire, or change the format, or deep dive. These are influencer terms. So I, I apologize if it's annoying. Um, and then they never really deliver. But in this case, I am curious what the direction of the channel uh, is I'm curious what you guys want to see more of, what you want to see less of, and uh, and and I'm hoping that you know by having this uh, town hall uh, a forum, maybe we can get to the bottom of some of those things. And there's all kinds of other stuff for us to talk about. Anyway, all that and more right after this. First, I didn't want to take this vacation. Uh, it took me a while to decide if this is what I wanted to do. I would like to offer you, the viewer, daily content. Doesn't mean I want to sit here every day because I think you'll get sick of me. Um, but that's also why I try to bring in my my friends, uh, my elite group of, of characters. I mean, it, uh, last week we had Johnny Monaco one day, we had Sean Clark. The next day, we had Wednesday 13. Uh, I think that made for a fun bunch of variety. And I've dragged Michelle into the act and my friend Jay. And so trying to keep it fresh. But I'd like to see how many of you would watch other content. You guys want to see me go to uh, uh, restaurants and local famous spots and talk about them? Because if you don't watch it, the almighty uh, algorithm will reject everything. And then I'll be back. Uh, uh, to square one. Anyway, I'm glad that so many of you have turned up. I, I wonder, we should have an attendance, a roll call, if you will. How many people have actually watched every day of the week? And a lot of people, one thing you got to get in your head, Wednesday 13 is not going to be here every day. He has a life. He does the things. Johnny Monaco is not going to be here every day. So far, we're only asking about Wednesday, but regardless, uh, this show is always going to be different. Okay, let's see who's first. First person was uh, uh, Kendall Lynn, the metalhead, who wants to know Wednesday will be here. That was the first big question of the day. Uh, Clint saying hello to fellow time wasters. Uh, let me go through. There's, I like to see channel members. That makes me happy. Uh, Julie, thank you so much. Michelle is here, and she's uh, prepared in case anybody wants to get stupid. She uh, she will lay the smack down. And uh, yes, in Aunt Bethany's voice. Hello, everybody. I should say that. Yeah. Uh, thank you. There's Jason Holstein, uh, channel member as well. And uh, I don't know what that means. And I'm just uh, skimming through. But uh, anyway, I'm so glad to see uh, so many of you. And uh, let's see. Yeah. So the fans of Johnny, uh, well, let me listen. I don't want to. <laughs> Johnny's demographic is more the rap demographic and maybe enough's enough, which would be in some cases older. My demographic as well. The Wednesday 13 fans tend to be much, much younger. And so the Wednesday fans like one thing and the other fans who see Matt or Johnny or myself like something else. And you know what? At the end of the day, you get me. And uh, if you don't like that, uh, there's the door. Okay. Um, now, Clint has something intelligent to say. Thank you, Clint. Have you ever thought about a P.O. box uh, to send gifts? Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's, let's, I'll get that started because I would like uh, gifts. But um, it's funny. I, I act like I really care what everybody says. Ultimately, I do whatever I want. 
Uh, let's see. Oh, thank God Drizzler's here. Uh, that, all you need is Drizzler, uh, to be honest. All right, so listen, it was the first day of uh, baseball season, for me at least. Today was opening day for the New York Yankees, and uh, fortunately uh, they beat the Houston Astros. It was a sloppy game, but uh, uh, they won, and that made me happy. Uh, so I've been doing that and then working on a few other projects. A lot of people said uh, that they want to see uh, me play music again. It was a time when I made a career of that. It was a short time. Uh, uh, no, I mean, I, play, I played a lot of shows here in Las Vegas. I mean, I think we played 100 shows or something crazy. Um, and then the lockdown happened, and that was that for a while. I haven't really touched the bass in a while. But today, I got off the phone, and it looks like uh, there will be a... Uh, uh, at some point, a live announcement, a show coming up, and you can come see me perform if that's something you guys would like. And uh, the idea that was floated, Sean Clark was on the show. Sean Clark, by the way, if you don't know, has a channel called Malfunction, or something the name Sean Clark, and he hosts a series called Horror's Hollow Grounds, which is one of my favorite things. He goes to the locations of famous horror spots. And anyway, if you've seen him on the show, you know, but he also books talent for conventions, and we just announced uh, that Stephen Piercy will be perform, uh, not performing, I don't want to say that, <laughs> he'll be appearing at the Mad Monster Convention in Arizona, Phoenix area. And uh, Ozzy Osbourne, Stephen Piercy, last time that combination happened, Rat uh, supported Ozzy Osbourne on tour, probably. So for those of you who might want to see a band that has Sean Clark and Wednesday 13 and myself and maybe some uh, players to be named later and maybe even some famous special uh, guests that would be coming uh, very soon. So I, I decided if that was going to happen, I should probably pick up the bass because it's been a while. So I picked it up today and boy, did my fingers hurt and I put it back down. Uh, I'm going to have to really... Uh, go back to uh, the drawing board, so to speak. But I, I'm excited, and uh, but this, I can't say anything official. I'll just kind of tease it, and uh, maybe you'll be in for a bit of a treat. Cabo Wabo saw the Sin City Sinners at O'Shea's on St. Patrick's Day. I remember that show very well. Um, John Lovitz introduced the band on stage, the comedian John Lovitz, and also uh, Chris Kale from Five Finger Death Punch got on stage. And so that was a, a fun day. I got a lot of good Sin City Center memories. I talked to Todd Kearns yesterday, uh, who was the singer for that band, the original singer for that band. Sean's show was great. I saw the Clockwork Orange, American Wolf of London, and Sean the Dead episodes. Yeah, I didn't, I don't know if I saw Sean the Dead, I saw the other ones. They're addictive. Uh, you start binging when you watch Sean's stuff. Oh, uh, uh, I am not going to personally front Skid Row. The only person who should front Skid Row is uh, Sebastian Bach. We talked about this yesterday with Wednesday on the show. Um, Eric Gronwall, I think that's how you say his name. I said it yesterday. It doesn't matter because you pretty much will never hear from him again. He, uh, he decided to leave. Now, I know he had, had or has leukemia. He has health issues. Uh, he said that he couldn't keep up with the touring schedule. It's strange when you join Skid Row, you probably had to be aware of the touring schedule. The statement makes it sound like maybe they said it was going to be less than it was. I, I, I don't know. The guy sounded good. I don't think I need to see people under 40 in Skid Row. I, I think Sebastian Bach is who should be in Skid Row. They announced Lizzie Hale of Hailstorm. She's a good singer. I've seen her with um, sing with Tom Kiefer on stage and stuff. I, I mean, I think it's a fun novelty, but I don't think, uh, I don't know. I talked to someone today in the industry who thinks it's going to be very successful and the shows are going to sell out because of how interesting it is. I don't know. Uh, Joe, thank you so much for that. A super chat. Uh, I appreciate that. I work for tips, as most people here in Las Vegas uh, do. So, what happens? What does Skid Row do? I think they go back to the Bum of the Month Club. I think they bring out some other unknown. Who cares? 
you can only build somebody so much. They kind of had something with Eric. People liked him. They liked that he was young and moved around and they were on tour with Buck Cherry. And I don't know. I think it's time to go back to Sebastian Bach. I explained yesterday on the show. Uh, I explained on the show how it could be done. Uh, who is going to join you live? Nobody, Kendallin. Not a single person. Nobody. Absolutely nobody. Uh, so no need to ask that question again. Okay. Uh, do I sing? No. No. Not even in the shower. Uh, I did sing a few songs live with my punk band, the Cincy Rejects. I sang some Johnny Thunder songs and some Heartbreakers. Uh, punk rock, but I, no, I am not a singer. Um, uh, Cabo Wabo is correct. Bach is Skid Row. Now, William B. says Skid Row hates Bach for reasons. Of course, uh, I think we know that. Uh, but uh, I think we all know that we got to do that. Uh, Drizzler says he sees my streams are, are ending very fast. I sat here for two hours and 20 minutes yesterday. What do you want me to tell you? I got a life. Uh, do you collect killer clowns? Not really my thing. I have the fun coat pops. I am. It, you would think it'd be the kind of thing I'm into, and I wouldn't mind having some signed items, but uh, it's it's not my it's not my favorite. I do collect a lot of uh, ridiculous stuff. Yes, Holly Madison was a leprechaun, and uh, I don't think you're supposed to say the M word anymore. I think you call them little people. But yes, that little person was in adult movies. He played a genie. I'm not trying to tell you to Google the M word and, and genie, but you don't want to know what you'll see. Uh, me and Johnny went to a Super Bowl party because, as you know, we're both avid football fans. Uh, is that soccer? I don't know. Anyway, and uh, he was there and also another adult performer named Tommy Gunn. And uh, we were Fascinating. Chinese rocks I have sang live before. Uh, you, fat, you're, you're, you know your stuff. Uh, hammer horror for me. I need to do a, a hammer deep dive, as they will. Uh, after Universal Monsters, hammer movies are uh, English. Uh, they have a very strange color, and they have a very... The blood, though, is very striking in these old movies. And uh, Christopher Lee, Dracula, things like that. Uh, Peter Cushing in the Hammer Horror movies, but I'm not an expert on them. I need to watch them again. There's a lot of things that I want to. Uh, what is the inside scoop on Puff Daddy? I tell you something. I, I have no inside knowledge. Uh, no one needs to visit me or ask me any questions. I know nothing. I did meet him on a few occasions and have uh, pictures uh, of our meeting, but I, I didn't go to any island with him. And uh, yeah. Uh, the odd couple, Felix, taking pictures of the little people. He says one, two, three. Yeah, that, that's an amazing episode. He, he <laughs> for those who heard me talk about the odd couple and all the Wednesday fans who are thirteen are going to log out now. But um, uh, there's an episode where Felix Unger's photographer and he takes pictures of a family where the parents are little little people and the child is a giant. And uh, he tells Oscar that when you go to shake their hands, you've got to drop your glove because he has his baseball mitt. Drop your glove, and then you bend down and shake their hands. And then the mistake is when Felix goes to take the picture, he says, everybody say, and then he says the M word. I don't think you can get in trouble for saying it, but I figure I better not. Oh, Jimmy has knowledge on Puff Daddy. Okay, well, it's good to know. Um, do I collect WB Horror Funko NFT Pops? I didn't. I like some of them, but I did not. I haven't done any of the NFT uh, pops. Okay. Thank you for wasting time with me, Ed. I appreciate it. Uh, ever have a Lizzie Borden on the show? No, but I think, um, I think it'll happen. I got a lot of stuff coming up on the show, and interviews will be back. Uh, this show was built on uh, interviews. It's also built on my back, which is why I'm in so much pain but um a lot of good interviews coming up i sometimes i don't like to say who they are but then uh because then if they flake um, but i will tell you that if you want to ask questions 
the people I interview. Then you got to go to Patreon. I'm going to be doing a big push on Patreon um, uh, uh, coming up very soon where you're going to be able to ask questions, I guess, and have some more interactive time uh, and get all the kinds of perks that, thank God, uh, I just got another order shipped today to send people of my uh, picks. Happy opening day, Jason. Thank you, Scott. Happy opening day to you. Yankees win. Ah, Yankees win. Um, uh, we love the interviews. We'd love some wash to up. Haven't played since 89 types two. Well, I think I've had plenty of those. I mean, if you go through the 300, I mean, I don't know if you're trying to be funny. It, it's hard to tell, uh, but there's been plenty of people on my show like that. I've had some of the deepest people. Um, Jack Russell, have you heard anything? What is there new to hear? Uh, guy's in really bad shape. I mean, I guess he has the right to make a living, but that would be a difficult interview for me. And as of now, I haven't. Uh, hold on, Drizzler has something important to say. Green, I have this girl who, I, I don't know what he's saying. She bakes or she bukkake? I, I, I can't tell, but I think it's says, Drizzler, what are you trying to say? Uh, maybe tell me in the Queen's English. Love to see an interview with Fred Corey. I would love to do that one too. I want to ask Fred Corey how come Cinderella didn't let him play on the first three albums. It'd be interesting. Uh, but I'd like to have him. Steven knows him. He's an arcade. Who knows? Would you go see Skid Row? Of course. Of course I would go see them with Sebastian. I, 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 mm -hmm. That's a, uh, yeah. Uh, David says he found my channel. You're back from the George Lynch interview. David, I hope you liked it. There was a lot of assholes offended by that interview. And they took it out on me. First of all, George Lynch's opinions are just that. George Lynch's opinions. If George Lynch says that he is a... Uh, <laughs> I can't think of the word. Atheist. Then uh, take it out on George Lynch. Uh, uh, and he said other things, but I, I like the guy. People said I said his name too much. I, I always said George this, George that when I was trying to get his attention. Um, you know, I feel like before you complain about my interview, send me yours. Excuse me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Steve says his favorite Skid Row album was Subhuman Race. I'll be honest, at the time it came out, I was disappointed. Um, anyway, I was going to tell you who was coming on the show. And, uh, and I wasn't so sure, but maybe this is someone you want to ask a question to. On the show, uh, interview coming soon, it's scheduled. Uh, original Iron Maiden singer Paul Diano. So for those heavy metal fans, Paul Diano on the first two albums. I Iron made and he will be here and you will be able to, uh, uh, if you're a patron, ask him a question. It should be interesting. All right, Drizzler is back. Thank goodness. Uh, Drizzler says, Green, I have this girl who break up with me. Do you want here Instagram? I think Drizzler's saying a girl broke up with him, but Drizzler, what am I going to do with her Instagram? You want me to start dating her? Should, is that, are you putting a good word in for me? How old is this person, uh, 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 Sizzler, a Drizzler? I mean, uh, New York has the best pizza. That is a fact. And uh, Yankees should be really good this year. I'm also a Yankees fan. As, as a kid, Orange County moved to Nevada three years ago. Oh, nice, Ed. Well, yeah. I, I, I It was a sloppy game today, but they came through. And, uh, well, well, that's it, Drizzler? Normally, you sit here and you have 10,000 things to say, and here, uh, you, that's it, never mind. Now, all of a sudden, the cat's got your tongue. Rico, Arizona is going to be the, I may be performing in Arizona. I hope you could be there. It would be nice. Uh, okay. Uh, Robin Fink would be an interesting interview. Yeah, he could, uh, he could be interesting. I highlighted the wrong comment. Some of the stuff you're talking about, I just don't know. Uh, Greg, excited about uh, Paul Deano. Please have Paul Shortino back and see if he types in the chat at the same time. Yeah, you've never seen the two of them in the same uh, room. Um, uh, Paul will come back. I kind of, I, uh, I kind of screwed up. Uh, I mean, not screwed up. I just lost touch. We were going to do it, and I was away and. 
told my call him, and then he went out of the country. But uh, uh, Walter Tina will be here. I'm trying to keep up with your questions. It's just Drizzler. Uh, uh, don't you guys want to see the girl who broke up with Drizzler's Instagram? <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we shouldn't. Uh, all right. Oh, here's Rock Rock and Rolla. I just watched your Monsters in a Mount interview and loved it. Uh, video, sorry. I'm from that area. I really want to go back to that area. Monsters on the Mountain is so much fun. I want to go to Dollywood. Would you guys watch videos of me going to Dollywood? Um, anyway, I would love to... Uh, Sorry, I see I read ahead and then I get distracted, but uh I would love to go back. Yeah. They didn't want Steven this year. They didn't ask, I should say. They're they're missing out. Um uh, Divergent asks, I'm gonna clean this up because it's alleged. Jason, do you know anything about the story from Bobby Brown of Janie Lane allegedly being assaulted and you named two people? Uh, one is deceased. The other one is openly uh, homosexual, but that doesn't mean that he assaulted anyone. Um, I know the name that Bobby Brown alleges, and uh, but I don't think it's. I, I don't think I'm going to say it. Uh, she doesn't want to say it publicly. She would be sued. I've heard people pitch me in both directions, whether it happened or not. It may have. Uh, I don't think that this is the place for me to tell you about something so serious. Jenny, uh, uh, I liked Janie Lane. I knew Janie Lane and spent a lot of time with him. He was a troubled guy. But boy, was he nice and he really appreciated his fans. Uh, I went to a party with him. <laughs> me, Janie Lane, and Ron Jeremy went to Shaquille O'Neal's birthday party at the top of Caesar's Palace where they filmed The Hangover. It was in that suite uh, with the tiger or the lion. And a tiger. And uh, everyone knows they, love, they hate cinnamon. They love peppermint or whatever the joke is. Um, but we, so we were going up there together, and Jenny Lane showed me his uh, ID that had his real name on it because I didn't believe it that his real name was Robert John. Uh, John uh, no, excuse me. John Kennedy Oswald. That is his real name, John Kennedy Oswald. And he told me a lot of stories about Bobby Brown. Some of them will remain private, but uh, boy, she, he was upset and that relationship not working out. And she didn't seem to be the uh, most loyal at times. She was going to come on the show. She threatens every now and then. She's found religion. Nothing wrong with that, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure where she's going to be. I, I'm sorry to be so. Uh, 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 vague. Uh, Hedgehog, did he fall asleep? Yeah, I mean, he was probably barely awake for most of it. I don't know. I don't know. The uh, question is, do I know something about an 80s LA band drummer who went missing back in the day? Nobody's been... Well, Mark Michaels from Faster Pussycat, if that's who you're talking about, he fits that story. Mark Michaels, the original drummer of Faster Pussycat, is missing. No one's been able to find him. And when we get out of here, I'll text. Uh, I'll uh, text uh, tame me down because he is uh, due to be here. Did Johnny play guitar on no Smash album? No, Johnny didn't play on any of Stevens' albums. Uh, Johnny joined it about uh, sometime last year, maybe two years ago now. Uh, hi, Denise. How are you? Nice to see you. Oh, a Drizzler would like to know if uh, uh, Wednesday will be here. No, but he is going to spin by your house. He just wanted to make sure that you had uh, a picture of your uh, ex on Instagram. I don't know why. Um, survived a party with Ron Jeremy. I survived 20 years of parties with him. Knew him very well. And if you watch uh, when we do the members only, I'll give you the uh, the truth. Is Bobby Brown. Uh, a big striper fan now. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, do I look forward to another rock cruise? I do. I do. I will be on the Monsters of Rock Cruise. Let's tell you that. 
Who would like to see an interview with Drizzler? I would like to see an interview with Drizzler. Yes, Mark Michaels, that's the one. Story went, uh, somebody saw Mark Michaels walking down Hollywood Boulevard and he asked somebody for directions and he said, where is the, uh, God, what's the name of that club? The, 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 I can't believe I'm forgetting this. It was a club in, what's the name of that fucking club? Yeah, I do believe that I'm losing my mind. So please watch this show as much as you can. It was called the uh, something bar, scrap bar. He asked if someone knew the direction to the scrap bar. The problem is the scrap bar was in New York City in the village. And uh, he also appeared while he was arrested for shipping smack to himself. It wasn't just for him. It was for another member of Faster Pussycat as well who did not get fired. Controversial story. We'll talk to Tammy about it. Um, but he, they were rehearsing at Mates, and he was in the back watching them rehearse. Very creepy. And then he disappeared over some train tracks, and no one's ever seen him since. Mark Sanchez, thank you so much uh, for watching, and thank you so much for the support. Appreciate it. Uh... No, <laughs> I don't know anyone who owns property at the Palms. I don't know anyone. Uh, uh, Drizzler it says he's not doing interviews. Uh, Drizzler, uh, all right, I better not encourage him. Uh, this is a question that I can't answer. You will get the answer in Texas on April 17th. So for those of you who are wondering what is going on and who's where and who's on first, see you in Texas. Uh, Taylor, hey, Taylor, thank you so much for the uh, uh, super chat, super sticker. I'm trying to learn how to have more perks for all the members. You know, I think you're supposed to be able to, I don't know, I got to study, guys. But uh, Taylor, thank you so much. Uh, and thanks for doing the live. Yeah, thank you. I, I hope that you're okay just hanging out. Uh, and yes, I do believe Mark Michaels was originally living in Las Vegas. I believe that's true. He played in a punk band here. And hello to Andrea or Andrea, as the case may be. Uh, yeah, Faster Pussycat, Tammy Down interview. Yeah, he, he he puts it off, but every time I see him, he says, we'll get to it. I'd like to have Greg Steele. Hey, I'd like to have Brent Muscat, but him and I uh, had some disagreements, and I don't think... Uh, I don't think it will. Uh, is Stephen Piercy going to play Oroville again this year? Do you know by chance? Well, there's nothing booked in Oroville now. If Oroville is near Sacramento, excuse me while I, um, so rude. Uh, uh, there's a show with Skid Row coming up. It's near Sacramento. OfficialStephenPiercy.com. Going to be a major announcement tomorrow morning. Tickets go on sale for a show. I can say it's in the Illinois area. I can't say much else. But tomorrow you'll find out. Okay? Uh, okay. Let me just put someone in timeout because they are an idiot. Is Ted still singing for the Sin City Sinners? And did the sex tape ever get... Wow, Michelle, very good old school uh, memory. I was like, wait, like, what the hell is she talking about? I directed and wrote this series of videos called the Sin City Sinners webisode. It's called The Sinners. They're on YouTube. And uh, there was this fan named Ted. He's in part two and part three. The, the premise was that Todd Kearns was on the road with Slash. We had to find a singer and we auditioned people who were mostly crazy or lunatics. And we, we uh, anyway, I should link these one day. Maybe one day we'll do a watch party on here. Um, um, Ted passed away, though, tragically. So, so no, he did not. Uh, he's no longer singing. But I'm glad you knew that, Michelle. One day I'll do a whole Sin City Center show and talk about all the crazy things. Uh, uh, yeah, Wheatland, that's it. That's it. Uh, honeycombs, Wheatland. Uh, wheat, wheat and honey, I don't know. Francis, thank you so much. Francis always says, I look great. I, I, I dread the day that Francis says, you don't look so good. You know, 
but for now, I appreciate Stephen coming to, uh, I think that means Stephen, Indiana. I don't haven't seen anything lately. Uh, Russ Rocks, Jason, great pop trivia last night between you and Wednesday. Question, is there any chance that you could get Warren Demartini as a guest? I don't know. <laughs> I've asked him. And uh, maybe we should wait and see what, ha what the future holds. But can't uh, the thing about Warren being rich, all that is silly. That's silly. People use this excuse that Warren has too much money or Warren doesn't want to do this. Or Warren can't play anymore, which he proved that's not true. Anyway, is Bobby still playing with fake rat or is he retired? I don't know. Bobby Blotzer uh, uh, made a retraction to a statement. He bashed something, or he bashed one, and then he retracted it. He's grown up. I don't know. Um, I don't know what he's doing, really. He had a band. I announced the lineup. He was not happy. I heard that I announced it. He badmouthed me as usual. Um, I don't know. I think he's sitting by the phone. Is the new drummer permanent? He can bring the drum set. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. But I do know that metal guy has a super sticker right there, and I appreciate it. Thank you, that metal guy. Is Warren an heir to the Mars Candy Empire? Uh, I've said this before. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Warren's family. Uh, based out of Chicago or Illinois area, which is where Morris Chocolate's from. He is a part of the area. Uh, you know, I don't know exactly how much he had or if he even still gets it, but I don't know. I never met Jane County. It would be interesting. And living in New York, I probably should have. Do I know Vic Fox? I don't know Vic Fox. I'd like to have Vic Fox on the show. How did I meet Michelle? Well, that's an interesting question. If Michelle's here, she can answer. Uh, did they ever make Sanford and Son action figures? They have Funko Pops. The Fred Sanford one is very expensive, and I, I, uh, I have it. <laughs> I have both of them, multiples. Is Drizzler the only kid here? I don't know. If there's anyone under the age of 18, uh, please state your name. Uh, Melanie says no shit, but I don't know what the no shit was referring to. Uh, Anch and John actually is very cool. I think I have those too. Here's an interesting one. Ever interview Ripper Owens? This is tough. When I started the show, I was up to interview KK Downing. And I was interested. I would have done a good interview. And I would have sold his band very well. And they told me that I was in. And then the last second, they told me, we're going to give you Ripper Owens. Who I, who I know. He sang with Sin City Sinners. I didn't want Ripper Owens. Not that I didn't want Ripper Owens, but if you told me you're giving me one thing and then you're giving me another. You know, this channel is not just some little fly-by-night rinky-dink operation. As far as channels that mention Trickster and Warrant and things like that, I'm the biggest, I, I think. I think I'm the biggest. And I was angry. But I said, all right, Ripper Owens. And then I got sick or something or I slept through the interview and I forgot about it. And I've never do that kind of thing. And I didn't really care. I don't care what the publicist thought. Uh, I think that I put a lot of work into this channel and I'm not trying to sound egotistical or anything, but I put a lot of work into this channel and I think uh, I've proven results. I've sold more Twisted Sister hot sauce than anyone alive. I've sold more, um, oh, I've sold more instrumental bass fusion albums than any but any other show possible. This is the number one selling CD in Burbank right now. Uh, Matt Thorne dot my Shopify dot. You can find it. Um, uh, anyway, and so I think I deserve to, to to interview KK, and that is the story. I like to tell you stories. One day I'm going to spill it about everybody. I've had guests bitch me out. I've had guests that I had bad information on. I've had guests, Blake, I've had two interviews that I couldn't release. You guys got to become channel members. You're missing out. 
Have you ever seen the Black Crows with the new lineup? No, they look bloated, I'll tell you that. I saw them on Howard Stern. Boy, those guys look like they haven't missed a good meal. Not really my favorite band. Uh, Michelle points out, through Instagram, that is where we met. So thank you. And Michelle's answering questions about her legal background. And uh, VB Designs, uh, Designs. I'm just picking this because everything is spelled wrong. Steve is spelled, his name is Steven, it's a P. Piercy with an A, whatever. Maybe you can come waste some time with John Ostrowski. Why would I do that? I don't know. Uh, uh, Jimmy says, I'm the biggest and the bestest. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And I don't mean to see, wow, here we go. Frank also, Steven has a P in it, but I, I understand. You're a member, you can slide. He's the new drummer in Steven's band. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Is he, he's 10. Oh, I see. Listen, you want to see who's playing drums? Go up in Texas. That's it. It's going to be good. I can't tell you anything else. Michelle says she listened to Ripper Owen uh, Ripper interview, and yeah, maybe it'll happen. I don't know. I've seen other interviews with him. I don't want to, I don't want to start. I don't want to start. Any chance of new Sammy, Andy, Nasty, or Michael interviews? Very good chance. Uh, 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 Nasty and I have correspond, and eventually he will be back. Nasty does say that I re reunited Hannah Rocks. I'm responsible, so that's good for something. Andy, I don't know if you'll see. And Michael, when he asked him to promote him. Yeah, I think they're all reasonable. Chip Casino, uh, possibly the original drummer. They've all asked. Uh, back that funk up. Exactly. Steve says the Black Crows are so boring. I agree. Michelle says I do gr uh, great interviews unlike Trunk. I get a lot of that. I think that Eddie Trunk has done this for so long. And, you know, he's become, he's a monopoly. He's the only one. I like Eddie Trunk. I say this all the time. He's very nice to me. I see him in person. I think he does a lot for this business. Do I think he's going to give you the most thorough interview? Do I think he asks questions that, I don't know. That's not for me to decide. I like the guy, so I don't really want to uh, bash him. But hey, for those of you who think that my show is an, an alternative, I appreciate that. I got to get in shape, speaking of all this, because if I'm going to take the stage again, I can't be this fat can't do it. I see people, I'm not going to name names, but I see people who go on stage and they're really overweight. And I'm not shaming, but if your job is to be seen and perform, maybe just try, you know. So anyway, I'm I'm going to, I'm not going to do the Johnny Monaco um, plan. He has his own thing and it's working. Johnny Monaco's in fantastic shape, but uh, I'm going to do my own thing. There's a lot of chat going on and a lot of people here. I appreciate you guys. I mean that. Uh, uh, you've interviewed three of the five guys in Kicks. And yes, I'm a big Kicks fan. Did I interview three out of five? I think you're correct. I interviewed Steve Whiteman. I interviewed Ronnie 1010 Yankins. And I've interviewed Brian Damage Forsyth twice. Um, Donnie Purnell is usually nowhere to be found. Don't think he's up to do interviews. Never know. And uh, Jimmy Chocolate Chalfont, he passed very nicely. We had a talk. He said, the other guys usually do that. It's never been my thing. Now that they're retired, maybe he would do it. But at the time, he was not interested. Uh, 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 you say you're a huge fan of Airplane. Uh, Wednesday is the bigger fan of Airplane than me. He has an autopilot in his house. Have I read the new book? No, but I, I sure, surely you can't be serious. I hear it's great. And thank you, Sean, for recommending it because I will get it. Matt Thorne seems like a really centered good guy. Yes. I say I've managed a lot of bands. I've been in a few bands. First thing I say when hiring a band member, could I sit in a car with this person for five hours? I try to make a minimum of four hours on drives, never in the car for more than four hours. If it's over four hours, you get in a plane. This is how you're getting a little inside tour managing. But I always say, can I put up with these people? Are they an asshole? That's the first thing I ask. Then I say, how good do they play? 
uh, and sing and, or whatever the instrument that I'm looking for. But can you do it all? Uh, and are you a pain in the ass? Because if you're a pain in the ass, who, who wants to deal with that? Um, and Matt Thorne is one of the nicest, kindest, and talented people you will meet. A, a zero attitude. Uh, Stephen's band right now is a good place, uh, a good people, you know. Uh, and you'll see that. I, I will point out to you that I'm editing tour diaries left and right. I, I'm gonna, I, I try every day. I'm scared I'm going to burn out on this. That's why I'm thankful that 250 people are watching me just sit here and yap. I'm also welcoming uh, John Doe as a new channel member. Thank you so much. It's appreciated. And you will enjoy the upcoming content exclusive. Uh, 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 oh, good. Skylar, Skylar you're here. Uh, I, I, I know you don't have anything stupid to say. Uh, so Skylar, he's late to the party. Well, better late than never. Uh, can we get interviews with adult film stars? Yes, but it has to be for members only. I like to be able to say the things, the things that I experienced. You know, for those of you who don't know, I was a screenwriter. I wrote for a company called Trauma out of New York. I went to LA for a while and I was offered a few screenwriting deals and had some interesting development deals, but I was also hired to write adult movies. Dr. Drew from Loveline told me, you write the shit that people fast forward past. I was shocked. And uh, I would love to tell you, I, I saw things that Drizzler would have to cover his ears. I mean, Drizzler's mom, who, who apparently is hot, would not want him to hear these stories. So it has to be for members only. Uh, I'm going to have to show your ID. Where is Tuesday show? Bart, that's a good question. A lot of people are losing sleep. We did a show on Tuesday. And it gave a lot of uh, uh, thoughts. But some people were sensitive. Look at the crybabies. Bitches. And um, I thought to myself. And then YouTube had to decide whether or not that video could be monetized. So I had to appeal it. So if I'm not making money, I take the video down. I appealed. I won. I always do. There's nothing wrong with this show. I know what I'm doing. And so um, then I thought, I don't really want to put that video out again. And I might start doing that with lots of these videos. Watch it live. I'll give you 24 hours. Video's gone. I don't think maybe, maybe then it just becomes content for members. But to keep throwing out all this stuff, you know, maybe it adds something more exciting. Is there an Austin date in Texas? Uh, not yet. I don't think. Do you like the band Lay and Axe? I think they're okay. Uh, I had the one guy on the show. Get Hannah over to the U.S. Doesn't look like it'll ever happen. They have visa issues. Michael Monroe and Sammy Alpha will be on the Monsters Rock Cruise, hopefully. But uh, uh, Andy is an interesting interview. He certainly was. Uh, mine is the best, though. A lot of people tried interviewing him, and he was drawn through. Mine is good. And it also reunited them. Sammy has a new album out this year. I think he got a new album out last year. How many albums has he got? <laughs> this is funny. You were giving too many clues about a possible rat reunion in 2025. If you think you got any answers out of the stuff I said, then you're the Riddler. I mean, you're Commissioner Gordon to, uh, solving the case because uh, I've been very vague. Do I think that there'll be a rat reunion at some point? <laughs> yeah listening is the key to interviews and the key to acting you'll meet people who think they know everything uh, my life is filled with them they know everything and they can do everything well okay fine but I've had a lot of experience in different fields. And in this field, interviewing people, the key is to listen. I'm not quite ready to teach a class yet. So all the YouTubers who are interviewing the same people as me are trying to. But listen, that's the key. If 
first show I did, I put a post-it on the screen. And all I said was listen, because I knew that you don't tune in to watch me. Now, at this point, maybe some of you guys enjoy the way I do things or you like my personality or whatever, and that's great. Francis says I look great. Um, but it's about the guest. And uh, I'm sometimes even uncomfortable being on the screen with them the whole time. But when I solo them out, they sometimes feel awkward. And so, uh, but listen, anyone who's acted or gone to acting school, the first thing they teach you is to listen. A lot of people just remember what the line is. So they sit there like this, waiting to hear their line. And they go, oh, and then they start. No, you react. And if you forgot your line, you should be able to at least react to what the person um, said. And that is the key to interviewing. Instead of thinking, what is my next question? I never do that. I do sometimes think, okay, I got to get this question in at some point. Most interviews now, I don't even use notes. Scotty Griffin will be here soon, my old friend who sang the theme song. I just want to waste some time with you. He'll be here. I think we're recording it on Tuesday. If you want to ask questions, become a Patreon. Write me on Patreon. Say you have a question for him. He was in LA Guns. He was in Fake Rat. Um, Mark Goodman of MTV, original VJ. He will be here. You want to ask a question? Message me on Patreon. And David Sterry of the band Real Life. Send me an angel. Uh, <laughs> Skyler's will always defend everyone. Skyler's got a nice thing to say about everybody. Uh, Uh, Russ says, how do you get interviews? Well, I think it's a good question and a fair question. It's a lot of different ways. Publicists offer me interviews. A lot of other channels, uh, they will do every interview the publicist offers because they're scared they won't get offered the good one. I won't do that. I'm not interviewing someone I'm not interested in. There's people I've had on the show that maybe I'm not a fan of, but at least I said, you know what? They have a story. A band called Leftover Crack. <laughs> I had a story. I would have normally interviewed him. Um, and there's a lot of those where I had a study and I enjoyed studying and learning about someone. Albert Bouchard, original drummer for Blue Oyster Cult. Don't fear the Reaper. He's the more cowbell. I had to do a lot of research. I had help. A friend of mine helped me with the notes on that one because I didn't know that much. And it's a long career and a lot to cover. When I started the show, I was doing interviews in depth about everyone's Whole career. When I started the show, though, the way I got interviews is I had friends who were famous and I asked them nicely. And because people were stuck at home, they did it. As my numbers got better, it changed. Now, publicists come to me, artists come to me. I mean, artists directly tell me all the time, I've got something to sell. And then sometimes I reach out to people, but I know so many people. My phone is a Rolodex of. Uh, 80s style musicians and retired adult film stars. So, uh, okay. I like the Donnie V interview. I hope he's okay. I think he's doing well. I saw him live not that long ago. He'll be playing at the Rainbow Bar and Grill Bash. I should get Jake on here to talk about that. Michelle, if you're watching, remind me to uh, uh, to text Jake. Uh, I see that Chris is here and making stupid comments as usual. Uh, Matt Thorne is Bootsy Collins' love child. Well, M is saying, am I the only one under 18? No, M. Uh, and I apologize for some of the things I say. I, it looks like you've got some murder dolls in your profile. Is that Joey Jordison and Wednesday, I'm thinking? Too small for me to tell. Uh, that's what she said. Um, not about me. Uh, and, and now I'm talking to someone who's under 18. Slap the cuffs on me. How was your friend Miguel? Miguel will be here soon. Uh, uh, uh. Miguel will be back soon. Hot Sauce World aficionado. I like to only have the original members of bands. I'm not a big fan of scabs or fill-ins or maybes. That's another thing. If you're not the guy, you didn't write the songs, I'm just probably not going to be interested. Uh, Unless that's, I, I don't know. I try to go to the guys who are the band. So as far as kicks goes, I name the five members. Everybody else? Going to be a no for me, dog. Oh, here's Drizzler. Uh, Green, every time I come on your stream, 
it's like I'm a king. Well, you, you've become very popular. Now, a lot of people have told me, how do you put up with Tristan? Because he's very obnoxious. But uh, uh, Cabo Wabo says, can you please find Vito Brado? Ah, I found him. <laughs> he lives on Staten Island. He doesn't really want to do anything. put Chris in timeout just just because it's like even when he's trying to compliment me he sounds like an idiot sometimes I'm not sure if the timeout went through I hope it did Frank Bello the bassist for Anthrax will not be touring with the band in South America founding member and bass player Dan Luker will be back with Anthrax very interesting Francis hot scoop uh at least Dan Luker had some history with them. I, I mean, it would be nice to see Frank. Maybe he just can't travel or I don't know. Uh, Eddie Trunk talked ace at auditioning Jordan Paul and Gene. What's that tell you? Well, it tells me that if he if they are friends, and they are, maybe he did his friend a favor and not screwing it up anymore. Uh, why, why can't I? I get angry. I'm trying to put someone in a timeout and, and it's not letting me. Why is this so difficult? There have been 9,000 timeouts. Sorry. Stephen and Ripper, both great singers, both smoke like chimneys. What the fuck? Well, Stephen Piercy is a legend. The other one is Ripper Owens. Uh, hmm. Some people like it when I get angry. <laughs> But I mean, why can't I? I mean, the, I'm really getting annoyed here. <sighs> Any change of a warrant member interview? I've had Joey Allen on. Um, I've had Robert Mason on. Jerry Dixon's not doing anything, including playing with warrant. Eric Turner, I think, did not like the lining of questioning um, that I had with Joey about Bo Hill and who played the solos. I don't think he was thrilled. I sort of try to apologize to him, but I've asked him. Yeah, he, he, I don't think he's coming on. And that's that. Okay. Uh, I did meet Chester Bennington. He was very nice. Sad. Uh, we did a show, his his band, the one with Amir Derrock, was playing at a club called Waste of Space, and they went on and played a special event, and then the Sin City Centers played afterwards at the Hard Rock. And yeah, he was very kind. And for most people I know, uh, for what was a big star, uh, he was a nice guy. I like the archive because I've only known of your channel for four months. Well, great, Russ. It's there's a lot there that's 350 videos to watch. I, I love people who uh, uh, want to take that uh, deep dive. Wayne says, my son is also a diabetic. I hope one day you can all take a pill instead of dealing with insulin. Yeah. I couldn't agree more. They talk about that. They talked about it inhaler for insulin. You inhale the insulin? Be nice. All these experimental things, unfortunately, um, a lot of them sometimes have side effects. I'm not sure in my lifetime we're ever going to see something. Uh, this country doesn't cure sicknesses. This is not a controversy. And if YouTube tries to block, that's it's ridiculous. But we maintain disease and we make you pay for disease. And uh, it sucks. And being a diabetic sucks. There were some stupid people in here who try to have political commentary. They knew nothing about what they're talking about. And they certainly don't know 
which political party is supportive of insulin and which is not. They, they don't know. People comment things. But insulin is a human right. Diabetes is a, a major problem. I have type 1 diabetes. I didn't eat too much cake. Uh, I'm, I'm screwed. And it's not fun. <laughs> and it probably took some years off my life. Would I like to see them figure something out? Yeah, I think as time goes on. I used to date someone who had cystic fibrosis. Um, sadly, they passed away uh, years later. I wasn't dating at the time, but we were friends. And I, did, I decided that I would raise money for cystic fibrosis. And I went out and I walked a marathon. <laughs> that was no shape to do it. I was fat. And I, uh, um, I, did, I did a lot of things for that charity. And I will tell you what, they've come so far with medicines. Not cures, but things that prolong those people's lives. There was times when 20 years old, you were like 70 if you had cystic fibrosis. So uh, as far as diabetes goes, I would love to see, uh, not just for my own selfish stuff, but I would hate to see other people have to deal with this. Um, you know, at the end of the year, well, you know, I probably injected myself with over a thousand needles. That's uh, awful. Anyway, if you want a super chat for my uh, pain, do what you want. Uh, does Blotzer get drunk and tweet rude comments? Why is he hating on Juan? When I knew Blotzer, he got drunk and Facebooked and social media. He had to turn his social media off because he could sometimes get angry. His issues with Juan are very legitimate. I don't think there's a member of RAT that has nice things to say about Juan. So, and I think probably Blotzer is entitled to an opinion. I think he's entitled to work. Uh, uh, so. Okay, I'm trying to read everything best I can. I'm going to take a shot here. Bart says, I watched Wednesday 13 and didn't know who he was. I watched a live video of his shows and would never know he's the same guy. He seems laid back. Watch Wednesday 13 at Bloodstock. It's one of my favorite shows. The massive, massive crowd, a billion people. Gives you a good idea of what he does. And yes, the, I say to him, Wednesday 13 is a character. He is something else uh, um, as a person. Um, and I hope that you'll get to see us playing together very soon. Could be exciting. I don't book Stephen Pierce, just for the record. I have nothing to do with booking. I'm not an agent. I'm a doctor. Uh, I think you're the clear pop culture knowledge over Wednesday. Well, Wednesday knows a lot. I'm a pop culture expert over... Uh, uh, Matt, I'll tell you that. The Drizzler says it's okay if I want to curse. He's heard it before, so okay. Drizzler, I'm going to need parental consent. Uh, can you have your mom uh, uh, send me a letter saying that uh, my boy, uh, Drizzle T. Drizzler, is allowed to hear uh, adult content if, if she says it's okay? And maybe send a picture of her rack. Uh, okay, hold on. Is that new green guitar for Jace Green? Jace Green apparently is my new stage name. Well, it is for, yes. I bought this guitar because I thought if I'm Jason Green, I should have a, a green guitar. Patreon link is in the description. If Michelle didn't fall asleep, she could share it. Um, but um, but she is, uh, it, yes, it's in the description, and that's how you become a patron. A few tears left. Do you miss Gazaris? Would have been a landmark. I'd never been to Gazaris. I was born in New York City. Gazaris was gone by the time I got there. Chris Topolinski is a, uh, a channel member. Eddie Trunk is the Johnny Carson of rock, and you're more Letterman. Eddie retires, it's your empire to have. Not a bad way to say it. I like to be, um, my favorites are David Letterman, Howard Stern. Yeah. But a trunk might be more like Ed McMahon. Okay. This is Manly 1979. Need daily upload videos from the future 80s crews. This stuff was so funny. These people love the 80s. Most people, anyway. Yes. Well, thank you. I want to give you more content. About time for another Juicy Pearl interview? Well, I'll ask him when I see him. Matt Thorne is very interesting, laid back. 
he has a book in him. He, he may. He's got a lot of stories he's hiding. I should say he's hiding. When I interviewed Chris Robinson, even though I'm not a fan. Yeah, I, I don't want to say I'm not a fan. I don't know. When I was in high school, that was all right. Mark Sanchez, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Where? What was the reason Martha Quinn didn't do the 80s cruise? Well, that's kind of a specific question. Martha Quinn doesn't like to do those things. I don't know if it's because she doesn't like cruises, but they, uh, Mark and Alan said there's no way she would do it. She's not interested. They've asked. Um, but Nina Blackwood hasn't done it either. And uh, Jackson's dead. Uh, so he's definitely not going to be there. But who are we forgetting? Oh, yeah. Quinn and uh, Blackwood, the two ladies. But downtown Julie Brown, who was not an original VJ, but she is uh, 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 there. Uh, hold on. Michelle uh, with the thumbs up. Michelle, I think I accidentally blocked Chris. <laughs> I was trying to uh, 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 put him in a timeout, and I think I blocked him. Chris, also known as YT Johnson. Jason would be my boyfriend. Well, uh, West 77, what, uh, what do you bring to the table? I mean, I don't want to rule anything out. Uh, uh, maybe age, sex, location. Were you born in 77? I would be too old uh, for me. But I appreciate the other consideration. Uh, yeah. I never watched the trailer park, boys. I know Sebastian was on it, and I've seen the clips with him. But that's it. Joe, you're asking old news. It's an old question and it was answered. I'm going to start tearing these episodes down. Watch them live or you'll never get to see them. Vito lives on Staten Island? Yes. Love, hate, no reunion? No reunion. They tried it. They don't get along. The end. Uh, Still waiting on the Jeff Tate interview. Yeah, me too, but he fucked up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, I accidentally banned the poor guy. I mean, he was a douche, but... Oh well. <laughs> Uh, any chance of interviewing Joe Lestay of Bang Tango? Uh, probably not. And he has health issues. Where is Billy Squire? I think he's dancing around his house. Does Michelle have an available hot sister? No. Michelle is an only child like myself. Any chance of interviewing the members of Living Color? Maybe. What is the one person you want to interview that you haven't yet? Uh, Robert Smith. Uh, let's get these likes going. I, I'd have to agree. Let's get it going. Oh, the Austin Lake murder is still at large. Yes, uh, Johnny and I need to finish the case. We get there. We work on these things. We try to solve the crime. And uh, we didn't finish. Will you let Steve post any upcoming rat news before it's officially announced? Stevie. You mean Stevie Rochelle? No. Mm -mm. Not my place to give away information about a band I work with. Uh, uh, Mike Crawford, I'm pre-diabetic and it's a battle for me. I'm pretty much borderline. I'm sorry to hear that. Be careful. You don't want to do what you can to lower that A1C. Oh my goodness, there's super chats here and I didn't realize. I apologize. Steve Jackson. Uh, Sylvain Sylvain, the New York doll, she used to call everybody Jackson. Hey, Jackson. I remember we were doing a show and he asked me what the singer's name was or whatever. And I said, that's Todd. And he went, I'm going to call him Jackson. But everybody was Jackson. Great show as always. Do you think you could have prevented what happened with Robin Crosby in the tragic last years of his life? That's an odd question, Steve. When... Robin Crosby was in the convalescent home. Brent Muscat and I called him about uh, just to reach out and say, hope you're okay. We were sorry to hear he was alone. We were going to visit him. And he probably would have liked it. I would have brought rat records and got him signed. Uh, I would have ripped them off like a lot of people were doing. But uh, he was about 400 pounds at the time. Um, 
no, I didn't know Robin Carlsberg. And I, and uh, the sad thing about um, heroin abuse, drug addiction, is that you can't save anybody as much as you would like to. You can be there for somebody and you can try, but uh, addiction is a disease. While some people don't believe it, it is mm, a genetic thing at that. And uh, no, no one was going to save him. His, his friends couldn't do it. So, yeah. Sorry. Uh, Chris Topolinski, thank you so much. But both of you, thank you for the super chats. It helps helps me get through the night. I heard that Matt is going to be lonely without Johnny on his side of the stage. Slip, slip, slip of the lip. I didn't even know uh, what that means, but I appreciate the super chat. Um, yeah, 249 people here. There's actually 265 right now. Make sure you like the video. It does help. Who books Piercy? Big Time Entertainment. Sullivan Big, two G's. He is an agent. And boy, we got news. He added some shows today. This Stephen Piercy tour is getting intense. And Stephen Piercy and I will be in Salt Lake City, Utah, April 4th. Maybe the 5th. I fly on the 4th. But come see us. Come see him. I mean, you can see me too. I'd be happy to hang out with you. And also, uh, then we're going to be at Mad Monster Party in Arizona in July. And Ozzy Osbourne will be there. And Stephen Pierce. And the cast of Scream and a bunch of other cool stuff. Sean Clark will be back. He'll talk about it. Okay. Stupid question, stupid question, stupid question. I can't really talk about, like, Sometimes you guys ask about rat business. Let's wait until I'm not working with Stephen Piercy uh, before. And again, most things would be my opinions, but there is some stuff that I have insider knowledge to. And if I told you, it would be insider uh, trading. Uh, Janie Lane has alluded to trauma. This Russ, did you come in late? I talked about this. Paul Stanley is not the person, so just for the record. That is not the person. I know the person that they named. I know the person that Bobby Brown named. I spoke to members of Warrant and also heard their opinions. But I can't really say much. Did I interview Sebastian Bach? No. Uh, Jason, I can count on you to say it right. And I'd like to agree with that, Jason. Jason, you should come on this show. I tell you all the time, you're, you're in college. That's not going to get you anywhere. Uh, uh, you're probably studying something that you're never going to use. Uh, you should be on here showing vinyl. Vinyl is your life. This is what you're made to do. <laughs> Jason's uh, probably realizing that uh, I give bad advice. Well, Mickey uh, Licks. Hey, Mickey Licks. I know Mickey Licks. First, I thought Mickey Licks was an adult film star, but Mickey Licks is a guitar player, a fantastic guitar player who I named being in Bobby Blatzer's band. I don't know what happened. It's not my thing. That was the rumor I heard. But Mickey opened for Steven on the East Coast. And uh, good guy, good guitar player. Check Mickey out. Maybe Mickey will come on the show on one of the live shows. Mickey, if you're around, let's talk uh, soon. Martha Quinn had some health issues. Sorry to hear that. So what are you doing this weekend, Jace? Steven, you and I are like getting very personal. You got nicknames for me? Uh, I don't think I necessarily have plans this weekend. I want to go see uh, Ghostbusters uh, on ice. I think I'm interested in that. Got a lot of editing to do. Tons of editing. I need to get this content going. I can't get Debbie Gibson's feet out of my head. Do I have a problem? No, there's plenty of people who like feet on their head. They like them on their scrotum. They like them in their mouth. Uh, some on a plane, some on a train. Um, I like Debbie Gibson's feet. I'm not into that. I took close-up pictures of them, though. I did. And if you uh, sign up for my Patreon, I will share them with you. Or channel membership. Um, okay. Somebody thinks that Debbie Gibson wasn't a good singer. I thought she was great. Have you happened to see and hear the similar to Pantera band? No. 
I did see that Chad Gray, I think his name is, from Helia, said today that there is no chance Vinnie Paul would have approved of the Pantera uh, reunion. I agree. And I knew him. Mm, what's the next con you're going to? I'm really wrestling with going to the Steel Con in Pittsburgh, uh, Monroeville. Jason's going. I want to go. I want to go to meet the cast of Beverly Hills 90210 and the cast of The Breakfast Club. And John Carpenter's there. Oh, and Julia Lewis. Oh, my goodness. Audrey Griswold, Christmas Vacation. But it's a long way to go. Short time to get there. I'm going to be spending the rest of the year on planes. Am I w willing to go to Pittsburgh to spend a lot of money? A lot of money. And fly back? I don't know. I will be at the Mad Monster Party. Um, and. Uh, and there's going to be some cool stuff happening. Mickey Licks, thank you so much. Very kind of you. Would you win a hair flip contest? Oh, who would win, Bass or Todd? Go with Todd. It's not an insult. And I got to tell you, when I play, I flip my hair a lot, too. It's just a thing. Thank you, Mickey. Who is the girl on the Evasion of Privacy? Her name is Mary Ann. And uh, I'd like to find her. I think she was in Playboy and stuff like that, but that is her name. Disappointed, the Ohio dates are the same weekend as incarceration. That happened once before. There was someone in the band was like, oh, incarceration. That's a... And then I looked at who was playing incarceration. I was like, well, who would want to see that shit? No offense, Michelle. Um, So Stephen Pierce in Knoxville was amazing. Yeah. Seriously, we'd like to see you guys get to South Carolina before Stephen hangs it up. Could happen. They believe that Kearns would win the contest. <laughs> that is the name right there. I would, I was gonna call her Gravitas, but Gravette. Okay. Michelle says she sang up Ron Tomatoes to throw it off key singing guitar next week. Yeah. Michelle is going to go see a shitty band open for a good band. I would get there late. Michelle can do what she wants. She's a big girl. Uh, there are some village people alive. Who knows? Jason said next weekend we'll be preparing for Steel City. So he's He's definitely going, but he lives close. I'm not sure yet. Band Ghost, I think, is great. I'm a big fan. I like it. I think people who don't get it says a lot about them. Great band. My daughter is going to the show in Pittsburgh. Yeah, I, it's going to be good. I just don't know. Maybe if I got a few more Super Chats, I'll, I'll go. John, John Karabi interview, please. Well, I already did it. I know you pointed out that you're new to the channel, but John Karabi, and I asked him, first question, who's the bigger pain in the ass, Motley Crue or Rat? Go watch it and find out. Jason, do you think you could reform for autographs and photo ops at a comic con or other conventions instead of playing, probably make decent pay? Do you think you could? I, I'm not sure exactly the question is. If you're thinking, do I think I could sit at a convention in charge? No. I wouldn't do that. And no. I mean, although influencers are getting very, very popular in the world. But no. If you want to meet me, um, swing on by. Where did you meet Stephen originally? It's a bit of a long story that... It's at another time. I love Stephen, but... Marianne runs a restaurant with her husband. She was a piece of ass. Stephen was a lucky man. Well, send me the restaurant and, and her phone number. And uh, maybe we'll get her on the show. I made it through all of your comments. Can you believe that? And uh, I've sat here for almost over an hour and a half. Almost an hour. Yeah, closing it on an hour and a half. I got all these notes here. <laughs> Very few. 
uh, I don't want to spill everything like about upcoming guests and things, uh, but some of it, it's good to keep secret. Uh, 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 and also you never know who's going to uh, fall through. Uh, I feel slightly bad uh, banning that dummy, but hmm, what are you going to do? Anything else you guys want to talk about? Uh, anybody but Drizzler? Uh, I'd be happy to do it. Uh, incarceration is a who's who of shitty modern act bands. Yeah, I, that's what I thought. I think it's like Mont, uh, Papa Roach Palooza, that kind of nonsense. Not for me. Uh, uh, getting tired. Getting tired, guys. Almost time for some insulin and for some dinner. I guess we're going to come back and do it again tomorrow. Oh, Steven's had, Steve's had it. He's got to go to bed. Thank you, Steve. Well, you have a nice night. Enjoy your Lizzie Hale. I already talked about that at the beginning of the show. Nothing interesting about the. Uh, It'll be funny and for a minute, and we'll hear a chick sing that she knows a thing or two about sweet little sister. And uh, Sebastian Bach. Sebastian Bach. I got a good Rock of Love story. I, I dated someone from Rock of Love. I don't feel like telling it right now. Russ said he did watch a few videos of Wednesday and uh, Scary Dude. Yeah. In what year did you meet Stephen? It's like, well, well, for two dollars now, I'm here. I'm here to talk. I first met Stephen in uh, early '90s. Cryptic answer. Uh, says she's in the band for four shows. I mean, who knows? I don't know. We you, we don't know that. Um, although I'll be there for two of the shows, for good or better or for worse. Um, anyone they get that's not Sebastian Bach is a mistake. They need to shut it down, realize that they screwed up, realize that they're not very good. I see a lot of questions about Ace speaking about not very good. Uh, but, uh, okay. I did not tour manage winger uh, i brand managed winger their term i enjoyed it i wish that uh i was young i didn't get it they i didn't it just was i don't want to talk about it i do sign a lot of winger cds though the, the when i directed the videos i directed four music videos from their uh their record i don't know what you guys are saying but i find that funny uh, I don't play Candy Crush, uh, but this guy, Zach Throne, that I worked with, he was the voice of uh, either Candy Crush or Bejeweled. Was Bejeweled a game? Yeah. Or the, I, Jason, you make it tough because uh, I don't uh, – the Steve Brown from Trickster is just running around bragging. He's doing a whole press tour about these average songs. That he's for, I better not. I'm going to get in trouble. I am going to get in trouble. No, I'm not going to tell that story. I'm almost ready to get out of here. 250 people. I appreciate all the super chats. It was kind of you. Uh, <laughs> sometimes I just let the comments speak for themselves. Um, yeah. Yeah. Again, I think a lot of us are guessing on things. Um, yeah, I mean, the plan is to bring Lizzie Borden and Hale in to sing a few shows. I've asked for my money back. <laughs> I heard somebody say, that novelty is good. I, I would ask for my money back. I wouldn't go see them anyway, to be honest. But uh, don't ask for money back because the two shows with Stephen Piercy. But you'll see 
all the shit that's gonna happen. Uh, I'll have to watch the rest of this in chat. You're gonna have to watch fast. You never know when these will disappear. You never know. Uh, Chris, thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoyed wasting time. It's pleasure in kicking it old school. Yes, that's what the show was built on. Old school. Have a nice little chat. Wow, look at Drizzler with the uh, kind um, uh, public service announcement. Like and subscribe. Let's do it. Uh, have to agree with that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, you more ready to see Lizzie Hale do the rattlesnake shake? Diet Coke or Pepsi? Diet Coke. What happened to the person, 77 West, who wanted to date me? Uh, did they ever give us their vitals? Somehow I doubt it. It had to be a, a guy, right? I mean, not that there's anything wrong with that. Problem with this show is I always want to go. This show is an hour. Come in, I hit my mark, and I leave. And then I, uh, yeah, Ed, Ed might have the right idea. Go see Stephen Pierce and get out of there. I don't think Skid Row should be even going on after Stephen Pierce. Stephen Pierce sold more records than Rata, I mean, uh, Skid Row on their best day. But whatever. Whatever. Uh, but yeah, there'll be a tour diary, and I'll be in trouble now. What about Michelle? Like these are uh, no offense, Will. These are the comments that like. Well, what about Michelle? Well, what's the question? What do you want to know? Is Michelle going to sing for Skid Row? I mean, it's no more ridiculous than anyone else. It's not Sebastian Bach. Ever listen to Angel City? No. Come on, guys. Rapid fire questions. Let's let's wrap this up. Everything you've ever wanted to know. Now is your time. Did you work with Brett Michaels? No. Met him a bunch of times, but didn't work with him. He's diabetic. There's only one T in Brett. Keith would like to sing for Skid Row. I'm sure you could be up for that. Two hours later, you're filming sushi dinner. Well, uh, uh, Johnny, it would, Johnny no longer eats anything fun. And that's the end of that. Skid Row are going to end up hiring Sebastian. They're, they're too dumb to piss away millions. They already have. They've pissed it away countless times. They had big tours. They had things, and they dumped it. John Doe, more trauma stories. Well, now that you remember, uh, we're going to get that. I got some trauma content to edit, me and Lloyd. And also, we're going to do a slumber party here. You guys are all going to be invited. Put on your PJs, and we're going to watch. Uh, you'll get some shit together if this happens on the screen. Thank you, Lisa. Um, you, uh, we're going to watch the Toxic Avenger together. Drizzler, you come too. Uh, uh, wear appropriate pajamas, though. And I will, uh, you'll, you'll love it. I hope this tour, Stephen, plays Dancy on the cover. Not going to happen. I don't know why you've asked me a hundred times. I worked with Blackie Lawless. No. Are you a Dictators fan? Uh, yeah, yeah, I am. Uh, they'll be on the show soon. Uh, the, Ross the Boss, the guitar player, has already been on. But uh, Andy Chernoff is going to be on soon. Jim asks FMK, Drizzler, Drizzler's sister, and Drizzler's mom. It's tough. This is tough. Let me think about it. I wonder what Drizzler thinks. I don't know. Maybe I better. Do you think Steve Summers wears his wig in the gym sauna? Tough one. Tough one. I lean towards he does, but he might have one of these beanie things. I don't know. Thank you, uh, 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 Georgia. I'm glad you liked it. Yeah, Scott will have his superhero, Superman underoos on. Mm -hmm. I'm going to wear my Kiss onesie uh, pajamas. But we're going to have a party, and when. You, and we'll have people pop in throughout. It's going to be good. Uh, Jimmy, here's the thing with this show. I was tired and I went, wanted to go to bed, but it's like an accident. I just want to see what's coming next. And that is the, the magic of this show. Uh, uh, as they said about Howard Stern, why do people who like, don't like him listen? Well, they want to hear what he says next. Well, you're curious what's going to happen. Drizzler, uh, you, your mom, or your sister, what do you think I should do? Uh, if you don't mind me asking. That's not enough, but where's my counselor? Counselor, is that inappropriate? When's the auction happening? I, 
I'd love to get to it. I'm trying to figure it out. Do you like any Swedish bands that played Monsters last month? Eric was from one of them. I, I didn't. I wasn't on the Monsters cruise last month. I like this band called uh, Shiraz Lane. They were on the show. Uh, they might be Swedish. They might be Finnish. I don't know, but I like them, and I like others. Uh, I'm trying to. Uh, yeah, Drizzler's mom, from what I heard, is hot. Allegedly, Drizzler's sister said that Drizzler's mom is very hot. And listen, Drizzler's mom is probably younger than me. <laughs> we finally, we finally stumped Drizzler. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Golden Robot record winner. Yeah, but here's the truth about that. I thought most of the band sucked, and the judges thought most of the band sucked. I'm going to write the Golden Mobile Records. Wait, where is uh, Michelle? Michelle! Uh, make sure we write to them and we let them know. Uh, yeah, we want to let the audience decide. Put the songs up and let the audience pick the winner. Let's stop dicking around with... Uh, 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 I'm sorry, I'm getting tired. Stupid question. Uh, will you be mad if Dracula isn't your captain on the next cruise? Yeah, and he's not. It's a different cruise line. Dracula only works for Royal Caribbean. Next year, it's going to be Norwegian. So unless it's a Norwegian uh, 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 Dracula. Oh, there's Michelle. Always got to rain on our parade. Shiraz Lane is finished. Well, I like Swedish bands too. I like Ghost. And I like the Final Countdown, Europe. So that's what, I like Ingve uh, J. Momstein. Okay. Uh, who's the cutest member of Duran Duran? Oh. John Taylor is my favorite. And I, I, I think he's still the hottest. But cute, I think the ladies would say uh, uh, Nick is probably the cute one. Oh, uh, Drizzler's mom is this, this just in. Drizzler's mom is 39 years of age. Uh, how about your sister, Drizzler? Is your sister over the age of 18? I think she is. 39. It's just, and does your mom watch the show? <laughs> Drizzler's going to get banned. <laughs> uh, uh, California Dreaming agrees. John Taylor. <laughs> Jimmy's 20 years older than Drizzler's mom. And Drizzler's sister is a minor. So, in all fairness, we're going to leave Drizzler and Drizzler's sister out of it. But we are going to fuck his mom. I mean, <laughs> all right. A long hair Andy. Yeah, I left Andy out of it maybe because of his health issues. Uh, Michelle's going with Nick as well. Uh, 39 is too young for me. 39 is like a great, great grandmother. Uh, I better not say that. I don't want to yell at my audience. I love all of you. Uh, uh, boys on film, I want to marry Nick Rose. Well, it's not a bad uh, 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 thing. There's so many people watching. I can't leave. <laughs> I want to just turn the camera on, go about my night. I'll make dinner and do what I do. I mean, Johnny does that act already, though. And uh, Backyard Babies, Helicopters, Turbo Negro. Backyard Babies I saw live before. Uh, it was fun. Tar player's name is Dragon, I think. Helicopters, good, good punk band, good punk bass playing. Turbo Negro, I only know a couple of songs, but I liked it. Uh, and uh, Nick Rhodes, if you're watching, uh, Boys on Film. Uh, boys on Film, are you a boy or are, are you a girl? As the question Imperial Drag, Eric Dover asks, are you a boy or a girl? I'm just curious. Nothing wrong with whatever you are. <laughs> Drizzler with the comedy tonight. Uh, 
Kaja Gugu, that's one of my favorites. Do you like Blur or Oasis? I like Blur, I don't like Oasis. Any new Pretty Boy Floyd drama? I don't think there's anything all that new. Ginger or Marianne? When I was a kid, Ginger. When I became a man of age, uh, um, Marianne. I got distracted because Boys on Film says he's a gay man, which is uh, all good. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I think Nick, though, uh, I don't know. I never interviewed Billy Morrison. I don't really care. Did they tear the Tropicana down yet? No, about uh, four days or so. And uh, I will, I, uh, I have a video to show you before it goes. Sharon, you're a channel member. You'd like to see how long Johnny and I can grow your hair. How long you and Johnny can grow your hair? I, I, I'm not interested. I don't want to have long hair. I mean, this is as long as I want it to be. That's not saying I won't get lazy, and I can't speak for Johnny. Mm -hmm. yeah, Jane County definitely asked if you're a boy or a girl. Will the Yankees make the playoffs? Well, right now they are undefeated, 100% uh, perfect season. So, of course they will. I, I don't know. I hope so. Last season was one of the hardest baseball seasons I've experienced. Uh, I heard that they will not uh, implode the Tropicana due to asbestos. I don't know if that's true, but that's the rumor I heard. So we shall see. And yes, go Yankees. And and listen, if Cabo Wabo says go, uh, uh, that's not it, it says go Mets. And uh, Scott's rooting for the Reds. And the boys on film says Nick has been divorced. In excess over Oasis, I agree. Anything else you guys want to talk about? Anyone want to become a channel member? We could celebrate you. If somebody becomes a channel member right now, maybe we could like play some sound effects. Jimmy's a Rays fan. I'm not a Rays fan because they're in the same division. I never met Harry, I, Howie Pyro. It's a shame though. He's buried at Hollywood Forever Cemetery. Have you been to Sammy Hager's bar in Cabo Wabo? Yeah, well, uh, uh, not in Cabo. There was one in Vegas, and uh, Vinnie Paul came, and we sinners played there, and blah, 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 blah. Hmm. Yeah, Greg's a fan of the new powerhouse, the Baltimore Orioles. Never thought I'd say that. All right, anyone else? I don't, I don't understand. Jason likes Blur, and he doesn't like Oasis. I, I, Oasis has just always been... Uh, uh, overrated, obnoxious, loud, uh, stupid. They said they're better than the Beatles. Oh. Uh, Michelle's rooting uh, uh, for the Indians. Uh, uh, Boys on Film is just interested in the balls. Uh, 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 just posted. John Taylor just posted on their Instagram. Awesome. Uh, Scott's rooting for the Indians. It would be funny if I just fell asleep. I have the Cubs lost yet. Uh, hang in there. They will. The C stands for choke. Uh, all right. This really is last call. It's 635. I'm going to give you guys two minutes to get some good questions together. I'm going to sit here right now with my creature from the Black Lagoon mug this was a gift from michelle i'm going to stop using it soon because waste some time with jason green mugs are almost here and uh, i will be hawking them to you all right anything anyone think of some uh, uh mark twain shit Are you into Wednesday 13? Uh, you, uh, you mean, uh, am I attracted uh, to Wednesday 13? Guy's on the show every day. Uh, can't believe Vinnie Paul died. I can't believe Vinnie Paul died and the last band he ever saw play was mine. Uh, it's no, it's, 
they're not, they're not related. What is Drizzler angry about? Someone's saying Drizzler's angry. What is, what is Drizzler so angry about? Drizzler just wants attention. You know how they are at that age. Thank you, Ed. I hope you're the first one to get one of these mugs. I, I got like a case of them. I'm going to try to keep all the merch limited. Instead of just hawking you the same shit. Uh, oh, Keith says he's upset because I talked about effing his mom. Eh, I don't think so. Most people have had that conversation at some point in their lives, and I'm probably the only male uh, figure uh, in Drizzler's age. And you're all a bunch of idiots if you believe anything Drizzler say. Um, have you ever been to any swinger places in Vegas? My wife is curious about visiting uh, next time if we go. Any advice? A lot of people like the, uh, you, you guys are old suckers. Uh, um, uh, people like the Green Door. That's the place that swinging likes. There used to be a place called the Red Rooster. I had been to the to the uh, Red Rooster. I've, I've been to swinging places. I don't think I could tell you the stories here. I did not swing, I but I did uh, go to the buffet. Uh, but I got good stories. Can't tell them here, though. And uh, it, it, Michelle is right. Uh, yeah, it, it, Drizzler is being obnoxious. I give uh, I, I give Drizzler too much chat as it is. You know that. I'd like to be fun, but he's he's only here for Wednesday, and he's waiting until Wednesday shows up. He thinks that maybe right now Wednesday is going to show up. Uh, Gabe enjoys hearing my stories. Thank you, Gabe. A couple, yes, the Red Rooster would have a buffet. Uh, they would have food. You, you could eat. And uh, everyone was naked. Uh, I was not. And uh, they had, sometimes they'd have a band. It was like right out of Boogie Nights. And then there was like this room that had beds everywhere. And then they had pools. And we went with this one guy. He wasn't my friend so much, but he was a friend of somebody, my friend. And we got there, and he just took off all his clothes and ran and jumped in the pool. And we were like, who knew? Uh, that, uh, who knew? I could tell you stories about that for hours, but I can't because Drizzler's here. Drizzler's not angry. He just doesn't want to make it weird. Where's this conversation going? The Wednesday is here on Wednesdays when, when he shows up. Just, I know that's hard to remember. Oh, uh, Jimmy would also like a mug. Well, we're going to get, we're going to get that going. I don't agree with this. Vegas is family friendly now. That's what the Chamber of Commerce. No, I don't think so. I think it's getting better. I will tell you that there's people out here who go, this country is in debt. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We're all going to be in debt. Go walk outside my house right now. There's a billion people gambling. Tons of them. Tons of them. So for anyone who thinks that there's this massive money, I don't know. Vegas is loaded with people spending money. So just keep that in mind before you lie. Um, Marsha, Marsha. Jan or Marsha, that's easy. Marsha all day, every day, twice on Sunday. I don't even care how old Marsha is. I'd give it to her with a football right across the nose. She'd be like, oh, my nose. Oh, my nose. I don't have a favorite sister on eight is enough. I, I, I like the whole family equally. I don't like to pick favorites. Uh, uh, Chuckster's Adventures will be gambling here next month. Yeah, nice. You're gonna enjoy it. Boys on Film is giving us every odd uh, uh, Duran Duran fact ever. The fact that no one's leaving means you want more of this pain and suffering. All right, uh, Vegas has changed for the worse. Much better in the 90s, 2000. Comps are garbage. Comps are not so good anymore. Well, it's not great, it's a different place. It's not, the, the, the allure of Vegas is not there anymore. You can gamble in other cities. And uh, I mean, the concert thing is cool. I don't like U2, but U2, uh, Cure, favorite album, I get this a lot. 
Disintegration was my favorite. I don't think it is anymore. But um, I don't listen to records like uh, physical media. I listen to the songs I like. I make playlists. So nowadays, if you ask me which Cure songs I like, I like songs. I couldn't tell you which records I'm getting at. Which angel on Charlie's Angels? Ah, it's been so long. Maybe Jacqueline Smith. I was I, Kate Jackson was the least attractive to me. Uh, I've lived here for twenty three years. Next time we're in Cincy, we do the filming locations of the Brady Bunch. All right, I'm down. Well, I'm going to be in Toledo. Uh, and we should get together and do those kind of things and other things that we talked about. A lot of people say Farrah. I think that's understandable. Yeah, I've been seen with Farrah. All right. I appreciate it. The, 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 I, I've been shaking the cup and it's drying up. So I, I'm going to get the hell out of here. Super chats came in. I'd be talking all night. I'd be here until morning. Appreciate you guys watching. I got to go outside and have a bubble gum uh, smoke up to two packs a day on those. Best candy of the 1940s. Uh, I answered this hammer horror question already. I mean, how, how, what is the chance that two people the same night would ask me that? Good punk bars, dive bars, the one I used to go to, double down. I, I, it's not my favorite. M, how old are you? Please, uh, have you ever listened? Yes, of course. I, I, I Not only do I listen to his songs, I'm learning his songs. I just sat here and learned a few of them just in case, you know, he wants to play them. Uh, anyway. I'm getting tired. Drizzler, I didn't ask your age. Are you giving me M's age? Drizzler, are, do you know M? Are you, in fact, I better not ask any more questions. You guys enjoying this? There's more people coming in. A lot of people couldn't sit here and uh, uh, boobs or butt. We'll leave that up to the chat. You guys tell us which is your favorite. Um, boys on film, it says they're 18, like they ask Cooper. So, boys on film, you've already been married at 18 and it didn't work? Drizzler says he's 14, and he says that M is 16. This is a young, young crowd. Uh, cover your ears while we discuss boobs or butt. We have one for boobs. We have one, uh, one, two for butt. I don't know. Oh, he was saying a, bo a boys on film has not been married. Uh, uh, so far, butt is way up front. Or, uh, and both, I mean, you know, Jim is going with the feet, Manly is going with the tummy. I feel creepy even saying this. Uh, we got boobs. I feel like it's tight, but I feel, <laughs> excuse me, but I think, uh, but. It, well, no, Boobs is making a comeback. And another belly uh, lover. The hair one is creepy. Uh, hips, that wasn't one of the choices. Boobs, a nice rack can overlook the mileage. Chris C worked on that. Stacy is going with tits. Hips. Kind of. The only person around here who's into hips would be, uh, where's my Duran Duran friend? You know, no offense. <laughs> Drizzler, what are you doing? You're starting to spam now. Yeah, boys on film. See, their personality. All right. Drizzlers in timeout. Can't take any more.
think I'm losing my mind. All right. I try to stay on here and fish for interesting things, but uh, it's tomorrow, Friday. I'll probably be back there here. <laughs> Gonna edit some videos. There's a video of me at Junior's Cheesecake in Las Vegas, brand new, and uh, and then there'll be a video of me at the Tropicana, so you can see it before it's gone forever. And then new, um, and then uh, new tour diaries that are coming. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm. I'm quick now with blocking people, so. I better get out of here because I'll block everybody. I mean, you can, you can, I better not say anything. I'm going to get in trouble. I hope you guys had fun. I do it because I'm here for you. I'm here for you guys to have a good time. All right. I'll see you. Uh, soon do me a favor if you're still watching and it looks like you are uh, go to my instagram and follow it jsin underscore green become a channel member and uh and uh like this video that's easy subscribe if you haven't uh what are they building in the tropicana place the, the a's baseball stadium the oakland a's are moving there in las vegas athletics i am a man of people Thank you and good night. Thank you and good night. Matt on Friday, I don't know. Uh, Jimmy enjoyed talking about music. Uh, I enjoyed talking about boobs and butts. Uh, it's all the same. Thank you, uh, boys on film. I hope you subscribed. And uh, don't be a stranger. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for uh, spending your Thursday night with me. You know, you could be watching The Cosby Show, but instead you were here with me. Uh, M, uh, uh, good night, M. Uh, I, uh, I'm I'm gonna go listen to my Wednesday 13 music right now, and you should follow me on Instagram as well.